All right, here we go. This is the video where I compare the characters from the original series to the rebuild. This is my rebuild version of those crappy videos that I did about a year ago now where I had the horrible mic and I was like yelling into it because I was inexperienced. Look, listen! Unfortunately, there's not a whole hell of a lot that I have to add to, to them. So the, they might be a little bit short, but this is, this is what it is. My opinion of Neon Genesis Shinji hasn't really changed. He's a great character. He starts out kind of depressing, but he eventually gets some friends, and he has a good time, you know, until, until about episode 18 or so. That's when everything starts to go downhill, and he eventually hits rock bottom. But at the end, he, he you know, has a, it's, it's all happy for him. So it's all good. Shinji's a great character. So how about the rebuild version? Well, we get the final movie, and he's he's definitely changed as a character, that's for damn sure. As you know, Shinji in The End of Evangelion, pretty much the whole movie, he's just kind of in a depressing funk. I mean, it is after he's lost pretty much everybody. Asuka's in a coma. Misato's, like, super depressed because Kaji's dead. All of his friends have left Japan, and Ray's now another clone of Ray. Oh yeah, and he just got done killing Kaoru. He popped his head like a fucking cork. So yeah, depre depression has set in for our young lad Shinji, but he does have a happy ending, so it's all good. So at the beginning of the final movie, I was quite worried because, well, in the at the end of the previous movie... Guess what? Kaoru dies right in front of his eyes, so I was very worried that they were just going to pull another End of Evangelion and Shinji would spend more than half this movie in a goddamn funk. I really did not want to see that again. Thankfully, after the final conversation he has with the new Rei clone, he gets kind of like kicked out of his funk, I guess, after she gives him back the little Walkman, whatever the hell that thing is. Somehow he's not in a, he was not a depressed mess after Ray died right in front of him. He he was definitely determined more than ever to go back to the Wonder and help Asuka and and all them stop Gendo and whatever the hell Gendo's up to. It's almost as though Shinji's a completely different person, but then you realize no, it's actually because Shinji's matured. Like he's matured a lot. He's matured a lot from the previous rebuild movies and he's matured a lot from neon genesis which obviously it, this takes place in a different timeline or different universe whatever it, it it's different characters basically these aren't the same characters but they're they're similar you know you know how it is it's, it's weird but anyways when you compare the two this shinji is far more mature with the way he's able to accept things that are happening even if they're bad you know like Asuka being absorbed into unit 13 Shinji's told this and his response is confidence he knows he can go and get her back and when he sees the new Ray, he, he even tells her that hey it's okay babe I got this shit just let me handle it o okay maybe those aren't his exact words but you know close enough and the scene where he confronts Gendo, he acknowledges that it's futile to fight each other. He goes along with Gendo, and they have a conversation, you know, like adults. And after Misato sacrifices herself to deliver the Spear of Gaius to Shinji, this line from Gendo might be the best line that describes the way Shinji acts in this movie. You've learned to heed the aspirations of others and accept their deaths. You've grown to be an adult, Shinji. And I don't think it's just meant because, you know, he's technically 28 years old. It's just he physically cannot age at this point. I mean, he's willing to re even sacrifice himself using the Spear of Gaius to return the world to normal. I mean, if that's not if that's not a sign of maturity, like, he wants to set things right. He knows that he's fucked up, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to set things right. He's made... He's, he's made amends with all the other characters. He's talked to his father and Asuka and Rey and all of them. 
I mean, you could look at this as some kind of metaphor with Shinji becoming more mature and he's aged just like Evangelion has. And this is the end of his journey and this is more or less the end of Evangelion, the original storyline for Evangelion. I don't see how they could go any farther with it. I don't really want them to. I'm I'm getting off the train here because this is this is perfect, okay? I don't need any more. This is a great ending. Stop it. That's side the point. The point is, I think it it should be pretty obvious what I think. Rebuild Shinji with this final movie, I can safely say is the better Shinji. Yes, crucify me if you wish, but that's just what I think. I'm, you know, I like the rebuilds. I like, I like dubs, okay? You know what, I think they're great. I think rebuilds and dubs are great. Well, let me get this straight. You think the rebuilds and Ava dubs are good? I do. And I'm tired of pretending it's not.